Hi everyone, welcome to Jigsaw Puzzle Racer, channel devoted to speed jigsaw puzzling. One of the things I can tell you right now these days is people are disagreeing on a lot of stuff. It makes me sad sometimes to see it, but I have some good news. We can agree on two things for the most part. Our love of puppies and donuts. Puppies because they're cute. Donuts because they're delicious. And I agree with both of those things. On today's episode, we are going to race Buffalo Games' Doug the Pug. This was a birthday gift of mine, and I am going to race it. Even though we've already done one for Buffalo Games, we're going to give this one a try. I usually only race 500s just because of the time constraint, but uh, I'm going to push the limits here and do 750s. Um, this is probably going to take in the three to three and a half hour range, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Taking a look at the image, getting the game plan going. I'm seeing a lot of different things around here, which gives me hope that we'd be able to speed this along a little bit. However, Doug's face right here is a whole lot of the same or similar colors and tough to tell where things go. So that could give us some trouble down the road. But, uh, you know, just like puzzles in the past, game plans are great. Once the pieces get dumped, all things can change. Let's have a look. Yep. There we have it. The Doug the Pug poster. Donut Doug. Hmm. You must be looking at those donuts. see how much puzzle dust comes out of this one a little bit later on, but let's dump the pieces out. I do not usually include unbagging the pieces in my puzzle time, so yeah, looks like we got them all. We'll stuff them back in the box, put it on before we start our race. Okay, here we go. Well, we're about an hour in. One hour, two minutes, 58 seconds. And this is what we have done. Uh, there's a lot going on on this puzzle. I forget if the picture is going to be here or here. But I don't tend to be a border's first guy. But on this puzzle, there was a lot going on and a lot of pieces around. So just to try and lessen the number of pieces we have, the border was actually the easiest one to go for. So as you can see, we've got a good bunch of it done. Sprinkles over here. Doug the Pug words over here. Trying to get some stuff in the middle over here. What I do like that I've done is that the middle's not overly crowded right now. So I'm gonna be able to kind of fill in where I can. Um, this one is a lot of fun to race because there's a lot of individual things on the image that you can work on. So uh, those things make for a fun puzzle race. Um, one word of advice I would say, if you get stuck doing one thing, don't be afraid to just drop what you're doing and try something different. In fact, sometimes when you've, your eyes have passed over the same piece this a bunch of different times, you're like, oh, there's where it goes, or there's where it goes without even thinking about it. So just a little tip. Uh, anyways, we will see you probably in another, let's put a stop at another hour and see where we end up. See you then.
Here we are, folks, at the end of the second time lapse. Two hours, 14 minutes, and 56 seconds. Well, my initial prediction was between three and three and a half hours. It's possible, but it's going to take some work. Uh, a lot of the low hanging uh, fruit is out of the way. The easy stuff is done. Uh, now we've got a whole lot of sprinkles and I'm tough. It's tough telling if it's white frosting or pink frosting. There's some plain white pieces and then there's a lot of Doug the Pug himself. So it's been a really fun puzzle so far but a lot of easy stuff is done and now it gets down to the hard stuff. So we've got to push through. Uh, again, three and a half hours. We've got a shot to meet our goal, but you know, we'll see. All right. See you at the next break. Well, folks, there you have it. Three hours, 12 minutes, 42 seconds. And I have a secret. It's the next day. My time estimation skills are absolutely terrible. And it took me three hours and 12 minutes, which is in between my three hours and three and a half hour estimate that I gave at the beginning to do the whole puzzle. And I'm probably about halfway there. Big difference between 500 and 750. But you know, we are going to forge ahead and try to finish this with a respectable time, but I'm not making any guesses on when we're gonna be done. But, looks like we'll need another time lapse or two to get this one finished. Here we are, folks. On top of missing my time estimate, I also forgot to start the clock last time. Tack about an hour onto this time. So about five hours, 30 minutes, and 59 seconds. Not even close to my estimate, but really fun puzzle. I love it. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought, but that's okay. Um, lots of different things to work on and really we're getting a good challenge out of this one too. So this is really a good one to race. Might recommend you do it with more than one person unless you're ready to race over multiple days. Um, as you can see up here, I've got the donut left above Doug's head and a bunch of white pieces which should be a little bit of a challenge towards the end. Um, one more time lapse to go and I will see you when this is done. See you soon. Seven hundred fifty pieces. Doug the pug, pugs, donuts. Done. Six hours. It's about double the time I thought it would take. So I got four fifty-eight, forty-eight. Add an hour to that because I forgot to start one of the time lapses. Whoops a daisy. Awesome puzzle. Awesome puzzle to race. Lots of different things going on in this puzzle. Some of the parts flew. Some of the parts were a grind. If you can see on the time lapse, I had a puzzle by shape. So sorting can make uh, things go by a lot faster um, when it comes to uh, puzzling on shape. Um, really enjoyed this puzzle. Uh, I thought Buffalo Games did a good job. The pieces fit together really nicely. They're good quality. If you have to pick up the move pieces, you can do it without everything falling apart and the image staying on the backing, which is really important too. 
If you can get your hands on this, you your friends, give it a race and post it in the comments box below. And while you're at it, if you can hit the subscribe button, my all my new puzzling videos will come to you direct. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in this time, and we'll be back with another uh, puzzle video soon. Take care.